to welcome you to the very first Network Better event. I don't know about you, but we really missed the connection. But we're also very grateful for these kinds of opportunities to connect digitally, which is what we do. We focus on connecting, developing, and impacting. We believe that business is a force for good, for change. And so I just want to welcome you. I'm so grateful to our speakers. I'm particularly grateful to our sponsors uh, and our participants who have been so generous in making this event possible. So with no further ado, let's get started. And it's my pleasure to introduce our first speaker for today, Carrie Aldis. Thank you so much. Um, I'm super grateful to be here. Thank you, Bianca and Samantha, for having me do this panel and talk a little bit about my business. I learned so much from my community. I'm happy to have it be my turn and share a little bit how I've utilized Clubhouse to help my business. So what exactly is Clubhouse? Everybody's probably heard of it if you're not on it already. It is a invite-only social media app. Imagine a virtual conference hall, okay, where there's maybe literally a hallway with a bunch of doors, and in those doors are big conference rooms, and the conversation rooms are literally running 24-7, and they cover every topic imaginable. For me, it really created a sense of togetherness because being a solo entrepreneur at the beginning of the pandemic, I didn't know what other vendors were doing. This app really opened up worldwide. What are people doing? And specific for me for live events. So it really was a lifeline for me last year. I am a makeup artist in a very luxury, high-end market. I feel really lucky to live in Napa. We have some of the most amazing wedding destinations worldwide here. For me, I knew I had a lot I could share and having to just talk about it, how I run my business, how I serve my clients, it kind of forced me to elevate myself as a small business owner. And it exposed me by just talking authentically to people in my industry. It exposed me as an authority in my field, in particular in luxury bridal, but also in my market, in my industry of Napa Valley. It is time for our second speaker. We can't wait to hear from Shana. Thank you so much for being here. So hi, everybody. Thank you guys for letting me be here today. Today, I'm going to be talking about digital marketing and storytelling, and I jumped at the chance because those are two of my favorite topics. So Bianca said my name right, uh, Shanna like banana, and if you haven't already, connect with me on Instagram or Twitter, it's Sheree Ray. On my website, shannabull.com, basically a checklist for what I think people should be doing on a day-to-day -day basis when it comes to social media marketing. And a few weeks ago, I added a, another title to my running list of what I do, children's book author. I literally wrote a book with my toddler when he was two years old and Randall the Blue Spider is out and it'll be in a lot of Sonoma County and Napa places soon, but it's on Amazon right now. Did you know that 57% of customers will spend more money if they feel connected to a business? I am now a case study for this. Most of the people who have bought the book over the past few weeks or shared a link or wrote a review on Amazon are either friends of mine, either online friends or, um, you know, in-person friends. And that's why it's so important for me to share the story of behind the scenes of Randall the Spider. It isn't just about this cute little story. It's about my cancer. It's about my son's um, disease, cystic fibrosis. It's about how this book took three years to create. And why I tell this story over and over again is because I know that when a customer feels connected to your brand, through like a shared interest, they will think of your business first when maybe needing that product or service or when they're asked for recommendations in your niche. So my motto is always connect first, sell second. And stories really do matter because it creates that emotional connection with your target audience. When I mentioned the word Starbucks as a business, you might think about people making coffee or frappuccinos or other sugary caffeinated drinks. But when I talk about the brand Starbucks, People associate that with emotions. Maybe it's feelings of sitting down with friends and gossiping over coffee or standing in line with coworkers. But the branding is the core values and what your purpose as a business owner. And storytelling is basically the narrative that shares those emotions and connects with your target audience. If you're not sure what your core values are, ask people what they think of you, your brand ask social media or call your best customers and ask. 
Is it something about you that makes people excited? You know, when it comes to social media, after your initial like audit and brain dump of all the content ideas, one thing I always recommend to people is to plan ahead. By planning ahead, you're able to really focus and then spend dedicated time, which actually saves you time in the long run. Thank you so much, Shana. I, you definitely have a ton of questions. Thank you guys. And thank you all for participating in such a lively way. I really appreciate it. We are just going to let you know, we have a few awesome sponsors for today. Recaller is an amazing property in the Russian River Valley. It truly is a retreat. It's got vineyards, olive groves, a honey farm, and their incredible winemaker, Carrie Gott, crafts elegant wines ranging from an oak Chardonnay to Alexander Valley Zinfandel. But they're more than an agricultural Endeavor is a gathering space where social connections are fostered and communities are built, which made them a perfect partner for Be Better. We're super thrilled to have them as one of our event sponsors for today. CoLab is the premier co-working space located in the heart of downtown Santa Rosa. It's an incredible space for productive work and meeting fellow local professionals. CoLab is all about creating a fantastic space where people can come to connect, develop, and impact their business, all while having a great workspace that keeps them inspired, focused, and ready to grow. We are honored to have them as an incredible sponsor. I want to introduce our next sponsor. We are so grateful to Roost General Store. It's a fabulously curated boutique in Windsor by an amazing owner, Therese Gabaldon, who during 2020 has just pivoted and recreated some of the ways that she connects with her audience, her customers. She has created a coveted membership box, which will actually be one of our raffle prizes. She is an incredible woman, an incredible business owner. What I love about her is her resilience and her commitment to her business and her brand. She had just talked about that. Here's a wonderful business owner in Windsor and is one of our lovely sponsors. So thank you to Roost, Therese Gabaldon. Thank you.